Shalom friends and welcome again to House of Date. Well friends, we are going to be finishing our message today on the book of Romans that I am presenting this week and I'm sure you are enjoying this book and this message. Well, it's all about how to walk by the Spirit, not by the flesh. See, God is the Spirit and God has revived our spirit. We are born again by His Spirit. So we are supposed to walk by the Spirit and that's where you find peace and joy and blessings when you're walking by the Spirit alone. Well, let me go and show you the last message of this week. And after this message, I'll be back here. Believe in God for whatever He has for you. And you never know, God is full of surprises. So stay tuned. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Amen. And I'll tell you something else. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Sometimes you're going through a dark, gloomy stuff that you don't feel God. You don't feel His presence. You think that you are... Sometimes people say, what can I help you with? What should I give you? Some people say, just give me a bullet. That's all I need. Just give me a bullet. <laughs> They're going through a tough time. They don't want to leave, right? But I'll tell you, even through these circumstances, when you don't feel God, when you don't see anything, His promises are still in effect. Amen. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. His Spirit will guide you and lead you through. Always remember this, that whatever you're going through, there is a purpose for it. Amen. And just go through it. Amen. Don't get upset. Don't get disgusted. Don't get discouraged. Just go through it. Amen. Just go through it. That's all. There is no other answer. Just go through it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because... We are the first fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. And if you're going to read at home all the other verses here, because I want to switch to something else right now. I'm not going to elaborate on that. I don't feel to do it. Listen. Open with me quickly to 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4. I'll give you the time to open your Bibles to 1 John chapter 4. It says, Beloved, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone into, out into the world. All right. Remember that the time they were living was a different time. It was just the first church and this and that, and uh, they were just born again believers, and they're, they're the only ones. But about the prophets, we're not going to talk about this right now, but it could be even people from the Old Testament that tried to be the prophets. You know, even in the Old Testament, there were false prophets. So. But I want to pay attention to something else. By this you know the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, is not of God. And listen to me. This is what God has brought my attention this week to these uh, words. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. Which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. And I was thinking about this verse. Spirit of Antichrist. Wow. That actually is very interesting. 
we thought that the Antichrist will be and he will be in a time of trouble and this and that at the end and uh, he will disturb the world and do this and that and that and that. But actually, the Spirit of God says that every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God and this is the Spirit of Antichrist. Spirit of Antichrist. So what God is trying to say through this verse that people don't realize and we need to open their eyes as soon as possible that whoever is trying to prove me Jesus Christ through any other source but the Bible and anything that is opposite to the born-again experience is the spirit of Antichrist. It's the spirit of Antichrist that is working through the sons of disobedience. All right? Spirit of Antichrist that is working through the sons of disobedience. Now, as I said, we always live in a day that is coming closer to the end, and we can see the difference. And that spirit is going to rise up even greater. to mix people up with what kind of religion they are and what kind of religion they belong into. That is going to happen. Ourselves, my friends, we need to recognize and we need to be equipped knowing what's going on knowing how it works and knowing how to work against it. Amen? Amen? In your own life and in the life of somebody else that you're talking to. We need to be equipped mm -hmm. and not to allow any deception into our own personal life that may take and possess us with so that we may shift from the truth. Hallelujah. Born again experience, being filled with the Spirit of God, will give you the victory over all things. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I found something this week. This week. Being over there, being a lot in the world environment, talking to a lot of different people, that our new life in Christ, the power of God, will not always manifest through our hands, our mouth, or as we feel that the anointing should be so powerful. It's good when it's needed to be in action. But you know what? When I was talking to people and they were trying to prove me the opposite of what I was teaching you today through the Bible, I realized the spirit of Antichrist was working very hard mm -hmm. to persuade me that I'm wrong and they're right. Mm -hmm. And I was inquiring of the Lord, what should I do? Stand up on a podium and just argue with them and just scream and shout and say you are going to hell and this and that? No, I didn't feel that way. God says zip. Amen. I felt a strong anointing. You know there is a zip anointing? Mm -hmm. I call it. When you zip it up that's the hardest thing to do. You need an anointing to keep this mouth closed. 
And it's the hardest thing to do. Because we feel that when anointed, we want to be, you know. You know, when Jesus stood up before the pilot, he still was anointed. But his mouth was closed. I found out that the greatest anointing was when, when, we, when we are able to keep our mouth shut. And I'll tell you, I was listening to all kind of nonsense, what people, how people were explaining themselves, how they believe. But they knew who I am already. They knew what I believe. And when I did not argue them, I just look at them, smile, said a few kind words. The next day, they said, you know, they talking that you're a nice person. They saying that you are very pleasant to talk to. You see what I mean? There's something that begins to work. God can work through you and in your life, even when you're quiet. I've noticed that. When you submit yourself to the power of God in your life, whether it's trouble, whether it, whatever, as God says, the Spirit of God is in you and don't worry about anything. When you do exactly what God wants, and I felt so much peace about doing that, maybe for the first time in my life, I usually like to speak to people and tell them to prove my point, eh? For two reasons. First, I'm Jewish. Secondly, I'm born again. I know the truth. I'd like to prove my point. But this time, I felt God says no. He said this way, my anointing works through you, but not for you. Be quiet. Through my quietness and attention, God showed me that whatever they said, the devil were, was trying to pull you to the conversation to get something out of your flesh, emotions. But because you held on and because you gave me the time, I will work on them and I will show them how wrong they were later. And I will open their eyes. And they will see the difference between you and them. That's the anointing. I thought to myself, it's very hard for a preacher to do that. But in any case, the Spirit of God can do things marvelously, wonderfully. We don't have to advertise ourselves. We don't have to promote ourselves. All we need to do is to follow the lead of the Spirit. Knowing these scriptures that you are more the over overcomer, not to give in to any other spirits that are there, never mind religious spirits, but born again believer, being led by the Spirit, giving the glory and the praise to God, and say, if God did not give me the chance, I'm not forcing myself to take it. You understand? Amen. And when you're not forcing yourself to take it, the anointing, is strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's strong. And it will do the job. It will do the work. That's how we learn what to do. We are getting educated. But you need to be, get, you need to be educated first by knowing who you are. That your life, your personal life, will stop being shaken. Do you know what happened to me last night? I'll tell you. Four o'clock in the morning, I hear the phone ring. I thought to myself, four o'clock, somebody probably just, maybe they tried to sell something. I, I'm, I'm not going to get up for that. Five minutes later, another phone. I, I thought maybe one of my kids, maybe something's, you know, you never know. I run to the phone, says, Mr. Can I deliver? He says, yes, this is an alarm force. I said, what happened? 
He said, somebody break in into your church. The doors are open, and we see the movement on the second or third floor. What should I do, dispatch the police? I said, my God, I thought, I said, dispatch the police, no problems, of course. Last night. So my wife says, what happens? I said, ah, somebody break in the church. Let's go to sleep. Everything is going to be all right. We went back to sleep. I tried, you know, to be calm. And I said, listen, everything is going to be okay. Let's just go to sleep. There's nothing we can do. I'm not going to drive there. The police will be there, you know. I just, and uh, I said, I just pray that nothing will happen to the equipment. Nobody will, nothing will be stolen or broken here. So this morning, other people called me who are on this account because when alarm is discharged, they call everybody who is on, on the account to notify what to do. So, and they said, they called us last night and I said, yeah, I'm 10, 10, 10 minutes away from the church. I'll see what happens. And me praying, we just believe in God. I said, well, what can I do? Whatever happens, happens. It's in the hands of God, but I trust the Lord. Eh? Do you see th here things? Is anything missing or broken? Nothing, right? We come into the church. The first door glass is closed, but our main door is unlocked. And that was the only door that was unlocked. So nothing was breaking in here. I guess our, I'm guessing that our cleaner that comes clean here for, on Friday, she probably forgot to lock the door. And the door was wibbling, and while it was wibbling, it discharged the alarm. I could have had sleepless night last night. I could have run here all the way just to see what I saw this morning. Amen? Amen? But you know what I said? Whatever happens is in the hands of God. Amen. The devil was trying to disturb my peace, mm -hmm. to bring me over here, to drive for nothing, mm -hmm. and to do whatever. When I came, I was amazed. I said, Lord, thank you, Jesus. It was a huge mistake. Nothing happened and will never happen. Unless God will allow it. But I don't believe so. Amen? Amen. Because the Bible, and, and it's interesting that I was getting ready for this message. So the devil was trying to play on my faith, what I'm preaching here. But the Bible says, the Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. We are led by the Spirit. We are covered by the Spirit. The Spirit of God dwells in us, and we are actually heirs of God. Amen. We have the inheritance that is coming from God. And I get that verse very seriously. I did not inherit anything bad, the inheritance that is coming from God is good. So I expect only good things and I trust upon them. Even though I'm going through hard times sometimes and some difficulties, but my inheritance with God is good. Because these present tribulations are nothing comparing to the glory of God in my life. And I want to explain that verse before I finish this. What that, does it mean? Just read with me one more time in verse 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not even worthy to think about. Are not even worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So listen to me. I'd rather to believe upon what God said and, and know, know, know that the glory that is on my life can manifest greater things in my life than the certain troubles that I'm going through for a moment. Certain troubles that I'm going through for a moment cannot be compared with the glory that is in my life today. Amen. Amen. So what that somebody tells you, well, 
Okay, you're losing your job tomorrow. That's just a trouble, but the glory of God is better in my life. God will give me something else. Something better. Amen? Amen. So what that they broke in and maybe, okay, if they could steal something, so what? Let them have it. Maybe, you know, the, the best thing that I would ask them to steal is my Bible. They'll learn something. All right? But even that is not greater than the glory of God that is in my life. Well, friends, we serve in a mighty and wonderful God. I'm so thankful you tuned in today and maybe this week. But if you've missed the programming, you can watch us again by going online and visit the website. Or you can order this program. And actually, uh, what I'm offering is the whole book of Romans that we've pre-taped before. As I was teaching before the camera, chapter by chapter, verse by verse. If you would like to learn the book of Romans really well and you enjoy it, call us today order that it's only a hundred dollars it's a discount price for the whole set of over 20 dvds and or like two hours each on dvd each chapter verse by verse a hundred dollars shipping is included i think it's a great deal well let me pray for you right now father in the mighty name of jesus i give you the praise I want to thank you for my viewers, Lord, that are watching us today. I want to thank you for the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that is going to touch their lives and move. Oh, I sense it. It's just like a wave of glory went your way. In Jesus' name, you can stretch out your hand and touch my hand as a point of contact on your television set and receive the blessings of God. Are you ready? Just come to your television set and receive it because the anointing breaks the yoke. I'm going to wait for you until you're going to do that. Are you ready? Lord God, in the name of Jesus, touch these people right now. Touch them, Lord, and set them free in Jesus' name. Every spirit of sickness and disease, in the name of Jesus, let the people of God go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we give you the praise. Just touch them and heal them and overflow them with your power and strength and the anointing. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody's stomach just being healed. I think it's cancer, but I, I believe it. And I know that God has healed your cancer right now. In Jesus', Jesus name. Somebody's back just being healed. Lower back just being healed in the name of Jesus. And I think somebody's liver problem, liver problem is being also healed in Jesus' name. Blood condition being healed in the name of Yeshua. The left leg being just touched by the Lord and healed in Jesus mighty precious name father we give you the praise in Jesus name oh hallelujah there's a lot of things that happen I sense the anointing of the Holy Spirit praise be to God well friends thank you so much for watching our program today we are moving ahead and we need your help to move ahead amen and I trust the Lord that you will, will be standing with us you'll be continue uh, to be our supporters and thank you so much for your support we appreciate every dollar every sense that's coming to our ministry because we need this to move on we want to reach Canada with the power of God over television uh, waves and with our miracle meetings so continue to help us thank you send your gift send your best gift today to house of dead ministries and if you would like to become a partner of this ministries on a monthly basis and be a supporter as well thank you so much give us a call do likewise thank you so much for watching our program today remember order this book of romans today for a hundred dollars with shipping is included and be blessed god bless you shalom to you thank you for being with us today and may God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob continue to pour out his blessings, power, and strength into your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day. Shalom. I will bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Who forgiveth all our iniquities who healeth all our diseases. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus.
Thank you, Lord God. House of David, Jewish Messianic Ministry, is produced and sponsored by viewers like you. We appreciate your support, which is allowing us to continue to broadcast our programming. Thank you, and God bless you. Shalom.